Hey folks, Pixie here, and I have something special for you today. Yay! This is Pixieville. It's special because this is the first ever SMP server that I played on. Uh, me and Yaku created it. And we were joined then by Styles, PhotoStyle, who's an admin on the Minecraft Workbench server. He started hosting it for us, and we played on his home machine. Uh, we had a few friends join in. Uh, but this this is our first ever world, and what we did was I created a map for our server, and it was really really awesome and awe-inspiring the the terrain and stuff. And we started building on there, and then a few weeks later I was messing around with map generation again, fa found something that was just incredibly insanely awesome, and we decided we didn't want to give up this world. So what we did was Yaku imported this world into MC Edit cut out everything we'd done and spliced it into the new map. So this is actually two maps together. So um, I'll, I'm going to give you a tour of the world. So this is the spawn bunker. You spawn in here, you fall down through the chimney, and this is where we come up. I'm not sure what time of day it is. I think it's morning. So this is uh, this is the spawn bunker. This is the watering hole. You might recognize this if you've been back to the old videos in my channel. Let me just check that I'm on peaceful, yep, and I'm on normal, okay, that's fine. This is the watering hole, there's a tour of this place on my YouTube channel. It's a big pub type thing I built. You've got the, the bar here, some seating areas. Now, keep in mind, this is from when, uh, early, early, early on in Minecraft. So, it was all the, the basic block types, so, you know not much going on. And the trees are going weird because there's biomes in, in the map now and it's not used to loading with biomes so some of the leaves are, leaves are decaying and stuff. Uh, let's go up again. So these are some of the, the first ever proper Minecraft structures we'd all built. Uh, come back down. So this this is the valley that we actually spawned in. The spawn point was on that sandy bit there. And uh, I just spawned in and had this crazy valley thing going on. There's some mountains over the other side there and the big waterfall sweeping down. And I was like, wow, I'm totally going to build my house up on that cliff. So that is, that is my house up there. This is Cole's discotheque. Cole is a friend of mine and... He's also an admin on the Minecraft Workbench server. He's been very busy with college lately, so you don't see him around much. This is his discotheque. Now let's, uh, oh, these are temporary housing. We had uh, about 10 people on the server, 10 to 20 people playing with us. that were friends and friends of friends and stuff, so we made some complimentary housing for people who were sort of just joining us new. Uh, let's go under the waterfall. So we come under the waterfall, and then up here is a boat ride. Ride the fall. Uh, this is possibly going to be a very long bit video. I might have to split it into two parts. I wonder if there's any boats in here. Oh, there's a boat. Let's see if I can get this to work. Here we go. I'm scared. Swoosh. Yay, and we come down. And it breaks. Of course it breaks. <laughs> There, that's the boat ride. So we'll come down here. There's a little orchard there. And some other people started building some stuff. Uh, that cliff is big and flat, by the way. That's the edge of the splice area. So we come up here. And this is a little tunnel. And we've got the, the maintenance entrance for the tunnel lights there. You can see the the lights are actually you can't see them, they sort of in inset and they just come and shine through with the glass. 
Uh, monsters do spawn in this tunnel, if I remember rightly. <laughs> it's not quite light enough that they don't. So, okay, come down here. We got Rulestone Cottage. I built this. Uh, it's built out of sand, mostly, but I could probably. Cause I wanted to get a sort of uh, plaster wall look to it. I could probably rebuild it out of sandstone now, it would be a little bit more secure. It's got two sitting rooms, has a fireplace. Big bedroom. I did have a fireplace there too. And the top garden with floating trees now. And I'll show you the the back garden of Rosalind Cottage is very nice. You can see I planted roses all the way around the front there. And this is the back garden. It has a little waterfall coming down from up here comes down and flows into a little pond and there's some reeds and backlit by torches. It is nice, I like it. That's the chimney. Oh, and there's a cave underneath apparently. Oh yeah, I turned system sounds up. Let's there. Oops. Okay. And this is my mansion type thing that I built for my home on this one one of my homes. It was supposed to be a sort of Zen like place. So there was another fireplace there. Marshy cobble seats. I'll come upstairs. I like the roof. And you've got a big tree growing. And pretty views. I'm going to provide this world for download by the way, It'll, the download will be link will be in the video description. So if you want to play on this world and run around then just uh, check the link in the video description for the zip. This is my wizard's tower. Head back down. This is natural, by the way. This thing is perfectly natural. Pig just fell to his death there. The waterfalls falling from it, the lava behind, it's all 100% natural. So this is Rusty, this is Yaku's house, Rusty's house. That he started building, a big fish tank in the middle. And then this place is where there's a funny story with this place. Uh, Styles went AFK, standing back here in that crazy mess of water you see there. So he was AFK there, and me and and Rusty, me and Yaku were building this river. 
So Stiles goes AFK and uh, Yaku thinks, well, it'll be really fun if we just surround him with TNT. And so when he comes back, he's just standing in this box of TNT. So there, there goes Yaku, you know, covering Styles in a big box of TNT. And he puts the last block of TNT in and he accidentally clicks it. Yeah, so a uh, big crater ensued and that's why the water is just really, really crazy in this bit. Uh, Styles thought it was hilarious, by the way. Oh yeah, this is my little mining shaft. This is the first ever water ladder I built. Yay! No, water elevator, sorry. So let's come down here. Why is my frame rate so low? I was playing yesterday with uh, 200 FPS. Okay, let's turn that off, see what that does. better. Must be because I'm recording. So anyway, this river goes to the coast over that way. I'll show you that later. This is a little village I built. It's just a sort of, if you play role-playing games, it's my idea of a little NPC village. There's a few little houses, there's a stables, a few slightly bigger houses, there's a courtyard with uh, what I call the Great Oak. If somebody can tell me what the Great Oak is from, what game the Great Oak is from, I'd be very, very impressed. So this is just a bunch of little sort of pre-built houses. And uh, this house I think is the one I like most. It's one of the bigger houses. Comes back to a nice bay window with a tree in it. Oops, sun's going down. That's the big mine, big scary mine down there. So, let me turn that off. I'll go back to the road while the sun's going down. So this is, welcome to Lakeside, enjoy your stay. Let's carry on along this road for a while. There's one more thing down here that I can show you. Uh, it's going to get dark, so you're not going to be able to see very well, but you should see this thing nicely when it appears. Let's pick up the scattered tree bits. So Styles built this road. Our MO on the server was sort of to build roads from one scenic place to another scenic place and then populate the road with buildings and stuff. So we do the roads first and then we do the buildings. This is my gazebo. Styles wanted a gazebo over this patch of road because it's sort of he tried to keep the landscape nice when he was making the road and so the road sort of splits up around these trees and carries on up there and he thought it would be nice for a gazebo so uh, I made a gazebo let me see if my ladder is still there yeah oops So we built this server before um, monster damage was enabled on SMP servers, so we just had monsters turned off the whole time. Um, but the plan was eventually to turn monsters on. So that's why the obsidian bunker is at spawn, because <laughs> when monsters eventually came do okay, got turned on, we were like, wow, our buildings really aren't monster-proof at all. So we monster-proofed spawn and whatever. So that's the gazebo. I'll, I'll carry on up this way a bit and then show you a nighttime view of the gazebo. Gazebo lit up. And I think the road ends there. Oh yeah, there's a Andy's Cloud Temple. I'll show you Andy's Cloud Temple. Doing, doing. Oh sweet, a white castle. Who's up for burgers? <laughs> it's built out of snow and white cloth. Obviously you couldn't dye cloth at the time, there was just the white stuff. Welcome to Nimbus Isle.
pretty cool. Big snow castle. So there's that. Now I'll uh, head back over to spawn. And show you what's over there. 